So, welcome to the Blaze Community Podcast. Um, so, we've got a few students in here from the football side of things. Uh, so, we've got Harry Skeen, Louis Hall, and Freddie Harrison with us. So, first of all, can you just tell me a little bit about yourself? So, we'll go with you first, Skeen. Hello, uh, my name is Harry Skeen. I'm doing the football course on the Sheffield United, Sheffield United Community Foundation. Uh, play left wing for Sandro's team, uh, second team. Uh, currently playing for Woodhouse, uh, Sunday League. Uh, looking to win the league actually, uh, B division. So yeah. Um, my name's Louis Hall. Um, play for Spouse team at on the football course. Play striker. I'm currently at Evo Soccer, playing on a Saturday in the men's league. And uh, uh, I'm Fred Harrison. Uh, again in the football course, playing for Spouse team. Uh, <coughs> play for Answorth. Uh, one league with 18s. And then in, in 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 and around with the twenty ones and reserves. Yep, spot on. So we'll start us off by predictions for this season. So we'll start with you, Freddie. So can you just tell us a bit about how we're getting on so far this season in in my side, uh, and then your predictions from that. Uh, well, we're doing very well at the minute, aren't we? We've got a lot of games in hand on top and second at league. Uh, we've got the bottom. Uh, is it two of the bottom? That's right. Yeah. We've got to play both of them twice. So we'll get goal difference in at that and we should also get 12 points out of it and then that should be us. We should be a bit winners at league, we should hope. Yeah, spot on. What about you, Louis? So, uh, like like uh, Freddie just said, basically if we win all our games, uh, Middlesbrough we're trying to chase to a top at the minute, they win all, our, all their games, we go a point above them and then we've got a play in last game of the season. What do you think? So we've already played them at home, you just tell us how that game went and then your predictions for when we, when we do play them in May. Alright, so when we played them at home, we won 6 0, which I thought it was a pretty easy game, but apparently they had a couple of players missing. But but I don't know if I believe that, because they've had some poor results against but like Wednesday and mm. Sunderland. So I think we can definitely beat them, beat them and all we need is a draw um, if we get if we both, both win all, all our games. So yeah, and I think I want to get top score, so I just need to score against the bottom teams um, in the next in the last couple of games. Yeah, we'll come on to that uh, later on in the in the podcast. But we get drawn all season. So, what do you think? Go there and try and get a point, or what do you reckon? I think we just go and smash them. To be honest, yeah. we'll, we'll have we'll have enough confidence going in. We should have won every game leading up to him, and I reckon they'll lose one or two. So, I reckon we should be rocking up there, chests up, just go going to win game. Him. Yeah, I don't yeah. think we should go into the mindset of. Getting a draw. I think we go in there, try and win. But worst case scenario, we only need a draw. So if it's last ten minutes and we one nil up, we just sit back. Yeah, yeah. If if they lose, do we have to win? Um, no. So if they if lose, we win all our games left though. What? So you have to win all, and if they lose or draw, and then we don't. They'll lose or draw then. Yeah, yeah. If oh, they yeah. if they lose before, then and so that means we win. We've won the league already going as them, so they have, right. to, they have to clap us onto the pitch. <laughs> I don't know if they'll do that. <laughs> God well, that. Potentially, yeah. So I reckon game by game, though, yeah. Mm. How about you, Skinny? So uh, Sandra's side, had, uh, probably around Christmas, had a good chance of they got to win the league, and then a few like dodgy results would say, um, few dip performances, but two games left. Strong end. Uh, hopefully, yeah. I think we obviously we can't win the league. We're looking to finish around second or third. Uh, yeah, we did have a good chance, but obviously a few we dropped points against Wednesday when we were winning. Yeah, obviously, stuff happens. Uh, we got knocked out of cup uh, to West Brom in quarter final, so I start with disappointing. But what can you do? We had a long journey there. Yeah, Should have yeah. played at a neutral ground, but we didn't, obviously. So yeah, but obviously we can't win the league, so just have to wait till next season. And what about for you for yourself? So what do you think you've done well this season? So obviously it's all three in your first season at, at college level, at a good standard, uh, a lot different to Sunday League, would you say? Uh, definitely. So what, yeah. what what would you say you've done well this season? Uh, my fitness, my fitness has definitely improved. Uh, coming into college, uh, my fitness wasn't the best. Obviously, I've never played at a, a very high standard like college, so it had it didn't need to be top top level to compete against these players. Obviously, that's changed because uh, we are playing against top players. So my fitness has definitely improved. So yeah. Yeah. How about you two? What have you done well so far? What what ch- what challenger when you think you've overcome that? Um, I think what's challenging is it's a different our college team plays a different way to what I've played before because it's a lot more I don't know I don't know the word productive like we get a lot more goals than 
teams I've played in before and it's a lot higher pace like pressing is a lot more intense and um, same on the ball it's a lot more one touch two touch whereas like what I'm used to playing is just like calming the ball down playing around the back and then looking for openings whereas this is a lot more um, high pace trying to win it give it to the opposition and win it back for them and then counter quickly what do you prefer? I prefer this uh, it's a lot more fun I'd say to play mm. and I get, it gets me a lot more goals mm. so even when you probably know this in all Freddie like even when we've got not got the ball um, in big periods at game we still feel like we're in in the games and on the counter this year has been ridiculous sometimes hasn't it and what, what do you prefer is it so you're centre off Freddie yeah. so what do you prefer would you, would you like to be on ball a little bit more and try and play or do you like the style that we play uh, I like the style that we play and obviously there is as parts of the game mm. where we are on ball and we do pass it around teams to tire them out but I think I do prefer the way we play because uh, I just get ball and then offload it to either centre half to left or to right or into midfield. And if needs be, go long. But I prefer mm. it. It's it's helped me with uh, ball at my feet as well, actually playing, which has then helped with uh, reserves hands with. Yeah, you're progressing so, that way. Yeah, it's helped my game a lot. Yeah. But mainly ball at my feet. We'll speak about that a little bit more, but obviously reserves and going <coughs> up there and, and obviously you're at Evo and everything. So uh, what do you reckon we could do a little bit better? So obviously you guys have got another year at it next year. <laughs> obviously we haven't done this year yet. But what have you picked up this year and you thought, I probably need to go improve on that to go and kick on next year? Because hopefully Sandro, they need to go and win a league next year. We could potentially have a big chance of getting promoted uh, to the Premier League, so we need to go and kick on again. What do you think? What do you need to go and get better at? Start with you, Louis. I think... Well, as a team, I think if we get it promoted, we'll need to like try and dictate games a bit more because we'll be playing against oppositions with like who keep it so much. Like when we got knocked out of the cup against Bolton, we'll be playing a lot more teams like that who dictate play but won't give it away easily. Like we who well, like we've played against some teams this year that who've given away easy. So I think on the ball we need to be a bit more composed. I think and just. Um, let the game open up, but we're, while while we have the ball, yeah. Threads. Um, yeah, if we do get promoted, I think we'll have to be a bit more focused on uh, shape and a bit more um, focus. Obviously, just focused on it and just uh, stay in shape. Don't like drift out in and out because that's what uh, lets down a bit against Bolton. Mm. Yeah, I just want to talk about that a little bit. So. So it were uh, quarterfinals at Cup, uh, played against a Premier League side from uh, mm. w- w- that were Bolton, so we travelled to them. Uh, we were on a good run at the time as well, weren't yeah. we? We were confident going into the game. Just want to talk about how we went on in that. Uh, it were early on, when it got for their first goal. It were I think he tried to cross it, and he's just gone over Lewis, and mm. then edge dropped. Which obviously it's good you've travelled all that way, and then first five minutes they've scored a poxy goal. Mm. And but then. Uh, we got back into it a bit in second and then but then again we were just going too far too far up shape we're losing it a bit <coughs> so we just tried to go for the game and yeah. you know it's either it works or it doesn't unfortunately it didn't work but I yeah. think we had that goal straight away we'd have been yeah. in with a chance because they, they didn't batter us I no. don't think I think we were in it for most of the game. It was just the first 20 minutes we got off at coach. Started Killed us slow. a little bit, didn't it? Yeah. Cr- we were cross, weren't it? <coughs> yeah, exactly. It's gone straight yeah. in. But, but I've been, I put this probably my fourth year doing this now. It's probably the best side we've, we've mm. come against as a college. I think, I think if like we started better, mm. we yeah, could have got, we could have beat them. Yeah, yeah. Therefore, they weren't much better, I don't yeah, think. Yeah. What about you, Skeena? Something that you can improve on <coughs> for next year? Um, I think Sandro's team need to work on composure at first 20 minutes at game because it's happened quite a few times this season where we've gone into the game with not being composed and we've conceded early it's put us behind and obviously it is hard to come back from a 1-0 one 1-0 nil, uh, one nil. and sometimes yeah. it just it happens too often in Sandro's team such as like Wednesday and um, happened against West Brom conceded in the first 10 seconds just off a, a, a what's it called kickoff. Yeah, so yeah. it happens too much in our team so if we work on that we get a better start. I feel like we could be up for a chance next season in the league. Yeah, yeah. definitely, mate. Yeah, great answer. So, what's college doing is for us personally? So, this can be like academically. This could be something coming out your shell a little bit more in in your in your time outside of college. So, what what do you reckon? Is it doing out for you? You can you can be honest as well. So, we'll start with you first, Louis. So, since college now, so what? A few months in now, coming mm. to end of your first years. 
What do you reckon it's college is doing for you at the minute? Well, I think for me personally, it's helping my social skills a lot because like you've got to meet loads of new people. Because mm. when I came in, I only knew Ollie and Isaac, so that's only two people, and so I had to. And now we're pretty much friends with like the entire class, so you gotta like make new friends and just to actually speak to people you don't know, which is like can be challenging for some people. And then so it improved my football a lot because you're playing very like quite consistently and you're around very good players so no good yeah. no brilliant how about you Skinny what's college done for you pal uh, I think it's improved my confidence a lot obviously on and off the pitch uh, obviously playing with better players it improves you so and when you're having good games it improves your confidence a lot and off the pitch like like Louis said social skills and speaking to people it's obviously improved that a lot like he said you do meet a lot of new people and you've got to find out a lot of new things about new people so I say social skills yeah and, and confidence no definitely like, just for you coming um, Freddie like all three and you I think you've come out of shells a lot you've you've become you've gone from boys to being men in, in a short time uh, I probably knew you more than these two before Freddie were obviously yeah. being around hands with and everything and even you're like yeah, you were hot tempered before. And there were a lot of bookings before, and yeah. me and Rich, one of the coaches, actually, were, were speaking about it today. Um, if you got one booking for twenty ones all season, mm. so that for me is like for your, for development point and how well you've done through that, and uh, how you've calmed yourself down a little bit. Because as soon as you do go to blow, your game goes as yeah. simple as that, and that's what I tried to get to get control of you this year. Um, I think we've done a really good job, and yeah. but that's come from you though. So if you want to talk about that a little bit. I think it's uh, just obviously before you come to college, you're still playing uh, grassroots boys basically, mm. and it's just, I think it's just, for me it was just easier to get annoyed playing yeah. playing uh, like in the under 16s, but then going moving up into a college league where you are playing against like some uni students, and then up then also with 21s and reserves, just, I find it a bit easier to be a bit more, a bit more calm. It's yeah. a completely different game from under 16s up into the college leagues it's it's completely different yeah uh, and, and obviously just the way you play and everything you matured as well I think that's yeah. a big big thing isn't it? You, yeah. I think you've come on really like with that you've come out of school probably still been a, a boy as such and rightly so because you still are and then you look at your class now and you think yeah you probably want to mature heads now isn't it? you know so now you've done real credit to you for that uh, so moving on uh, so where do you want to end up so we'll go <coughs> career wise for job for your jobs and everything, obviously, you're still, you're still in a critical time for your, for your development. We obviously you've still got another year at college. What you want to do after that, and then football-wise, <coughs> what you want to do and what you want to go and achieve. So we'll start with you, Freda. So where do you want to end up, career-wise and football-wise? <laughs> What's your plan? Um, well, I don't want to stay in Sheffield all my yeah. life, basically. Yeah, yeah. And there's a, there's a lot of opportunities with college. There's a chance for American scholarship, and then also one in Malaga. Uh, so I'll I'll look into both of them because it's a big thing that I've always wanted to do: go abroad and play football. And then obviously, if that does happen, then uh, if there's any jobs out there, that's when you get into the jobs abroad mm. and even live live abroad. That's always been a big thing for me. Don't always want to stay in England. Yeah. But if uh, nothing comes of them, just uh, work my way up pyramid in England football wise get a bit of money from that and then uh, stay in sport job wise whether it's a coach or whether it's even just like a tutor or like a, this college or some, uh, something like that but again main goal America or Malaga yeah. we definitely have your back pal but definitely going to chase your dream in America that will be a living dream won't it yeah, so definitely. and obviously we're going to speak about Malaga later on but obviously you're going to Malaga as well so have yep. a good look out there see if you enjoy that um, but yeah great plan pal yeah. Skinny what about you? Football wise, and then what you want to do as a career? Uh, so, hopefully, like Freddie said, work your way up Pyramid. Uh, I want to become a semi professional footballer, obviously, get paid for that, and have a coaching job on the side as well to help inspire young athletes and try and help them do what I've done, uh, play football in my life, and try and improve them and help them get to where they want to they be when they're older. Really? Yeah. That's about skinny. How about you, Lou? I mean, career wise, I don't really know. Mm. To be honest, because like, there's many things that I'm like really interested in, but nothing like I'm really set on pursuing. So like sports coaching, I'm be interested in sports nutrition, personal training, and then like something probably something not to do with sport as well. But 
Um, football wise, I think uh, I kind of want to go semi professional, see how on my gap here, just see how much I can improve on that and work my way up the pyramid. I'll see how that's going, and then depending if, if I want to go uni or something, like go to Malaga or America, because Mal Malaga is more appealing to me because it's hotter weather and be a bit of a nicer experience than America. Yeah. Hotter weather. Yeah, what if you end up in like Florida or something? Yeah, it depends where you go, obviously. But and also it'll be easier there's, for there's easy a lot of places in America that are warmer than Malaga. It'll be easier to um, for family to visit you. Or you to visit family. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So that, that's why it's more appealing. Yeah, yeah sounds Spain like, though, isn't it? Sounds like a plan. Been there, done that. <laughs> so why have you cho why have you chosen? So we just one one person can answer this. <coughs> why have you chosen this us or this college? So why did you come here? Can we do? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I came here because uh, I didn't really want to go to uh, Chef College because mm. if I went I know I'd just go into a trade and then be stuck into a trade for the rest of my life which isn't something I was really bothered about Yeah. so I thought I'd come here do something I'm interested in in the school work because obviously they're sports, coaching, nutrition even business now uh, and then also play at a high level for two years which is always <coughs> something I've wanted to do semi-professional football so it was perfect for me two years and if I didn't like it I'm mm. still only 18 I can then go out and do something else whether it's an apprenticeship at college or straight into work it's it's flexible in that way yeah yeah good choice and would you recommend it would you so if if you were going back another year now would you recommend it to yourself yeah definitely it's a lot better than from what other people are doing like yeah. I say because it's even the days at college it's not like a school setting which is a, a lot of people want to get out of so it's just just perfect for a lot of people. Spawn, why is it not a school setting? So what do tutors <coughs> do here that your teachers didn't do in school? They're just a bit, they're a bit more like uh, your mate. So they have a bit more like banter. But then obviously when you need to get your work done, they obviously, they're professionals at it. So they mm. teach you well, they get you to do it. But it's more fun, the more, uh, what's it called now? You have a lot more uh, autonomy of, of how you get your work done. Because do you not know what autonomy means? I don't know what autonomy means. It means like you can, you can, you, you, deci <laughs> you decide on how you get your work done. Like who's taught you that? Autonomy. Not school. Yeah, <laughs> I just know it. <laughs> I'm, I'm lectured. <laughs> um, yeah, so you can, if if you don't get your work done very well, like with everyone speaking, you can put your AirPods in, listen to music, and get your work done that way. Freedom. Also, you can work together. We work together. Help help your like peers and as long as you get your work done they're happy yeah Fun. just a lot of freedom is what I was trying to get at well we're trying to get you to get to the next step in your in your careers or your, your development like next might be university so you won't mm. be people won't be holding your hand up at university you, if you miss a deadline that's it you're done or if people go and get jobs after us we won't be we won't be there to help, help you out will we so mm. that's what we're trying to do and put a bit of responsibility on your side um, and it looks like it's worked, especially from your three. Um, it's worked, obviously got more more responsible now. Grown up, you matured, um, and like you say, you, you like that setting. As soon as you come out of it, it's, it's not it's not a bad environment to work in, is it? Yeah. So, so Skeena, who's inspired <coughs> you in your life so far? So a tough question and a big one. <laughs> you don't have to get emotional if you don't want. <laughs> and obviously, your brother came to this college and all, didn't he? Yeah, he did. So, do you, re you recommend it you as well? Y yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, who's inspired you? So obviously, I'm gonna start with my dad because yeah. um, he's obviously brought me up uh, to play football. He coached me for quite a while. <coughs> Didn't always get along, like after games. There's definitely a lot of arguments there, but obviously, he's made me who I am today. So he's inspired me. I'm gonna say in the short time I've been at the college, I'm gonna say Aidan Spowage. You've inspired Aww. me. You've inspired me quite it's only a lot. because he sat next to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. If it no, were George, I'd no. say George. Yeah, I'm kidding. kidding. <laughs> no, obviously you've helped me improve a lot as a player. You've helped me like figure out my weaknesses. Obviously, letting me train with your squad on a Tuesdays and Mondays. Obviously, help me improve as a player myself, playing with better players. So, so in that sense, you've inspired me quite a lot. Thank you. I appreciate that, Skeena. No worries. Didn't think that was coming up actually, throwing me back a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what it's all about, Skeena. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm just glad you're enjoying college at the minute, mate. You can tell with a smile on your face like, when you, every day that you're in. 
So, what about you two? Anyone can answer it. Go on, Louis. Who's inspired you? Yours will be a good story. I man. think. Oh, well, mine's just. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Random bloke, no one's ever. Mine's pretty bleak because it's just my parents because they just always said, just always do stuff you enjoy because then you're going to put 100% into it. So that's why I've done that. That's why I chose this college as well because I'm going to enjoy it. So I think I'll put more work into it because like in school, if I didn't enjoy something, I'd just sack it off and not, not really care about it and not really care about my grade. But as I'm enjoying this, like I'm caring about if I get a distinction merit or um, whatever grade and I care how I'm playing in my, in my games because it's not, it's not like it's a toxic environment. It's a very good environment. So you care about like how your your mates are playing and how every other team's getting on, not just your team. So, yeah, I think that's the biggest thing this year. Like, it's not because we've got seven sides at, at college now. It's not like oh, they're getting on or they're above us. It's you're waiting for for update chat. Say, oh, have they got on? I hope they've won. And, and can I go and help them out this this uh, this week? And no, it's it is a good environment, like you say. So, so yeah. Uh, moving on now, so some trips coming up. So first trip, uh, Geraldton <coughs> Towers tomorrow. Looking forward to it, Skeensville. <laughs> yep. Yeah. What's Got your favourite ride? Have you been to Alton Towers before? Yeah, I've been before. What's yeah. your favourite ride? Uh, it's got to be Oblivion, to be honest. Like the drop. Is. Oh, it's underground. Yeah, yeah. The adrenaline where that goes through you when you drop. It's just, it's, it's very good. You yeah. like that? Yeah. Smile is all right as well. Yeah. Yeah. I just thought being like massive queues. That's what just puts me. Like, mm-hmm. Shouldn't be though, because it's like school, school day. Isn't I it? don't know. I think we're only the Sheffield's only place in world. That's not an half term at minute. Mm. Yeah. Everyone else is. Everyone else yeah. half term. So it might be so busy. Might be a bit. So Even be a good day. Out, though, yeah, isn't you've it? got loads yeah. of time, aren't we? Exactly. Queue for a bit. And then Malaga. Yeah, Malaga. Malaga coming up. Malaga. So obviously we we touched on it a little bit uh, in first part with you, Freddie, that you um. wanting to go abroad to play football and educate. Mm. Um, so what are you looking forward to most in Malaga now you've had your brief and what we're going to do out there weather <laughs> just uh, like uh, but also like just to see the standard of pitches mm-hmm. just uh, and if in the like the environment that you'd be in because obviously if you I'll go and if I don't like it then it'll be out at the table yeah. but I can't imagine it being not very good yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. Mm. So, but then the training is all that we're going to do yeah, and yeah. also just Activities that we've planned. So How about like you, Luke? What do you reckon? Is this the university or the holiday? Into Malaga, this. So, uh, what, what are you looking forward to most in Malaga? You two are rooming as well, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. You're in a room together. Uh, yeah, that. Rooming, that'll be good. Um, yeah. What am I looking forward to the most? I think the matches, obviously, that'll be fun. And then the, that off day, then we get off morning or. We get like one day where we can do like just relax. We're for a stay, yeah, can't we? Yeah, afternoon in around pool. Is that yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll be fun because it'll just be relaxing around the pool with all your mates. Yeah, good. This will be uh, live streamed as well when we're out there. So all games will be on. Uh, people will be on commentary. So tune in. I'm gonna take your game. It's gonna be a l- uh, late afternoon kickoff. Um, under lights. So that'd be nice. And then uh, the other games that are going on, I'll be we'll be commentating on them as well. So no, it should be good. Looking forward to it. Some yeah, come round tomorrow, won't it? So, and it's then Varsity Skeena. Mm. So, do you know much about Varsity before we introduced it three or four weeks ago? Uh, no, not really. So, Varsity is basically like, it's, it's ten. It's ten towards like universities, like pretty massive thing. So, basically, we're going to go do seven sports, and we're all playing against Sheffield Wednesday and all of them. So, seven sports uh, ranging from badminton, table tennis, esports, and then we're finishing on uh, a game, at, a game at Hillsborough. Um, so obviously each student will be will be paired and whether you 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 got an interest in sport or you think you're good at uh, we'll play against Sheffield Wednesday that what do you think you'll pick? I've, oh, I've already picked I've picked football and badminton oh. so I think I'm quite good at badminton I used to smash people at AMP in school and that yeah yeah I used to be right good yeah yeah I played in a while but, no it won't, it won't <laughs> Kelky don't worry <laughs> How about you two? Are you looking? Are you doing, you'll be doing football side, won't you? It'll be stuff we've got a game, haven't we? In oh, morning. what time's that game? Move so we'll up. hopefully have an 11 kick off or 12 kick off. Away? Or no, it's at home. Oh, it's at home. And then we'll head over to Hillsborough. Everything should be done at 3 o'clock. And then we'll head over, and then obviously parents can get involved mm. and then come and watch. Um, uh, all, so all our college will be there watching as well as Wednesdays. That'll be good. Um, so, yeah. So, fancy is. We'll be a bit, bit we'll tired be after our game, though. Yeah, we'll be late. <laughs> Think we'll be fine. We'll smash him. Yeah. I've never played at a stadium before, to be Maybe fair. Not. Nah. I've played at Doncaster's before. But I've heard Hillsborough's pitch isn't that good. Like, well, pretty bobbly, apparently. Doncaster's from, from the Wednesday fans. So you, 
Yeah, well, Skeena, potentially a bit about you now, potentially winning league with Woodhouse. So, just want to talk about the division they're in and what's next for you. Uh, you going on to East Ham with Woodhouse next season? Are they getting promoted? A bit on your football side outside of college? Yeah, so uh, under 17 is B division, uh, Woodhouse. Uh, we're second in league, but we've got three games in hand uh, on top, and we are only six points behind. So, we, we probably should win the league. Uh, obviously, if we do get promoted, I don't think we'll be in under 18s A division because obviously there'll be under 70s A division and under 18s that are joined together. So I think we still will be in uh, the B division. But I think I, at the end of the season, I'm going to leave what else? Um, I'm going to. Exclusive. Know, oh watch. my god! <laughs> Exclusive news. It's Sorry, what else? If you're watching. <laughs> yeah. So obviously, I'm going to start training with under 21s, and hopefully, Rich or Jack will have me. Yeah. Hopefully. No good plan. Um, Kelk is in your net and all, isn't it? Sort of surely it forwards have been carrying him. What, for Woodhouse? No, Kelk is plays for Middlewood. Kelk is a rival. Oh, right. oh I always thought Kelk was here, mate. No, no. Wouldn't have him in my net. Wouldn't have him in my net. Yeah, they're currently like six in league, then. Old stomping ground. Then. Yeah. No. Uh, Fred, so congratulations. Mm. Hands of under 18s winning the league yep. in A Division. Mm. Uh, so I'm congrats on that power three games to go. Uh, Spot on. Uh, what's next for you? Uh. I'm obviously, I've been around 21s and reserves all this season now. And then uh, pre-season, I'm going to be a bit in with first team at Anzuf as well. So, see what comes of that. I'm not expecting anything really, but it's just good to Definitely. be there and be in, in and around it. Just even if I travel on bench, it's still just facing dressing room. Mm -hmm. But I'll probably be a bit more focused on uh, reserves next season because we're only a young team in that league. We'll just play against other first teams. But we did well this season. I think we came fifth for it. No, third. We came third? Oh, yeah, we came yeah. Third, then. yeah. Uh, so obviously, for the young team that we were, mm. going into it, a lot of us haven't played with each other before. Very played. We did very well. Yeah, yeah. And then, to be fair. Yeah, I'll just explain a few bits on that. So, uh, Rich, Kayla, one of his coaches, he does the under-21s at Answorth. And then we just thought to bridge the gap between under-21s, sorry, college to under-21s, then straight to a first team, it'd be, it'd be tough. Uh, and there's not many opportunities out there so basically at the start of this season I've come up with a with plan to get a reserve side together and Hans were, were up for doing that so I went to watch a game be three a week ago now and the starting 11 or 10, 10 of the lads were college lads um, so that's what we tried to do we tried to get them through 21s so there's a progression there to the to the reserves and then like Freddie just said it's an opportunity with 13 it's up to them to go and grab it but this, we, we've given the best opportunity that we, that we can um, provided in men's football um, and you've done really well you played what 80% of games for reserves this year uh, yeah played a lot I think I missed a few when I went on all yeah, day, I missed everything. a few at college as well Yeah, but yeah played majority at games uh, in my position as well so mm. really they've done good. really well like I said they finished third mm. uh, I don't think there's anyone over 21 so no. they're 16 to 20 oh, year olds still 22 still might be yeah 22. keeper yeah he's moving on this year though yeah he's leaving so, so it'll be so another young keeper coming massive through massively youngest squad yeah. by a mile in that league yeah playing against fully grown men yeah so but now brilliant for your development ah. what about you Lou so Evo yeah men's football so this season haven't seen you too yeah it's been um been a bit of a roller coaster because we've got a, a very small squad and a very young squad. So dealing with injuries and like people going on holiday and stuff. Um, a lot of lot of times we've been going to games with eleven men, but we've done all right. We've finished mid table, but it could definitely be better because we've played games where we've beaten the teams at the top like comfortably at home, but then sometimes we've we've gone to games and we've lost. Um, by a lot to teams like below us so it's been a bit of an awkward season but next year we'll have a lot more players coming through because it because we just need people to turn 16 so then they're eligible yeah. to play in men's league so is that your plan um, i'm not sure because i i quite want to progress up the pyramid so i'm thinking about going to another club maybe maybe that would be hansworth or um another team just just to get further up the pyramid and then eventually try and earn some money from it yeah I've got a few inquiries about you and a few plans for you football wise for next season so leading goal scorer for Evo um, I'm not sure because I've been playing that means no <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I've won 17 for Evo but I haven't been playing in my I haven't been playing striker at all I've played either winger 
or centre mid, and if we're very like low on squad depth, I've been playing left back. But that's that's only like two, that's been like two games. <laughs> but yeah, I've been playing centre mid quite at the start quite a lot. So, um, but I've I've scored quite a few from centre mid, just making that third man run and yeah. just tapping it in the back post. So, yeah, I was top scorer for them for a while, but I think um, the sh- the strikers scored more now. Yeah, I think it's wrong with playing different possessions for your development because you'll know from people behind you when you are playing up top for college or other clubs what what they're after and what they need to do to get the ball to you. So, so but yeah, uh, just obviously a little mention and all. Uh, twenty seven this year goals. Yeah, twenty seven. College, I think the next the second leading goal scorer is lad from Newcastle's got nineteen. Yeah. So it looks like you're gonna you're gonna get that unless unless he goes and gets yeah. Mm. I mean amounts. Yeah, I want I want more. I want to break thirty by the end of the season. So just because I think that will confirm it. Yeah. And then, yeah, then something it wrong if you don't. I think. Yeah, because we've got like yeah, six games, six games, three yeah. and six. six that's, games, that's fine. Four against bottom of the league. Yeah, exactly. That's what I want. What? I always play worse against the bottom of the league for some reason though. Like, I feel like I do too much sometimes. But yeah, I've noticed. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah. Like. <laughs> Predictions then. So Skinny, your next game is Bradford. Um, you've we lost them at home, didn't we? Yeah, fact, first game when we went dip a little bit. Yeah, yeah first, first game of season. season we lost five nil. But obviously, team has changed a lot since then. Yeah. I weren't even in our team at that point. Is that why they lost five nil? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Go on then. What do you reckon? Big game. I f- I think we'll beat them. Is it at home? Did you say? Yeah, yeah. I think I think at home, but I think we'll do them. Oh. Score. Here's a score. 3-1, three 3-1 one. Three one us, actually. Skinny, I'm here. Game at three? Tri- yeah, actually from Skinny. You can dream, can't we? Yeah, there's no need for that. <laughs> <laughs> what about you two, Jen? So we've actually got Sheffield Wednesday's next game. Um, so go on, score predictions. How do you think it'll go? Oh, I think... I can't see them scoring, to be honest, because l- we played them last time and they scored one lucky goal. And But I think our defence has been amazing this season. I think... How many have we conceded? 16? 12 it's, it's not 16 13 it, it, it were 10 before it's like 12 or 13 yeah. all season yeah. the lowest yeah. goals yeah. Yeah. Tw- in the 12 in like what is it 16 games yeah. spot on isn't it that's uh, and that's that's Six very good clean sheets yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. something for Lou there no so yeah well, what are you going for what score I think I'm saying 5 5 no. I'm going to go 3 3 no. I reckon is it their their place in it? It is, yeah. Jubilee should be playing. Yeah, three no. They're picked up though. <coughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, they got a new striker in. I've heard. No, they won't be five, but I think mm. we'll. It'll be tight at times, and then as soon as we get one, yeah. we'll be all over them. Yeah, good. Mm. So, yep. So that's pre- his predictions. So we'll end on the wheel. I don't know actually they call it in here uh, on other podcasts, but we'll give that a spin. So, Freddie, if you want to spin it, skein it, then we'll see where it lands on. Long now, just you wait. Quick fire choice, whatever that means. Choice. I think you need to get Sony to give a choice. <laughs> what's that? What's that mean? <laughs> I've got all oh, you'd be like, no, so it'd be like, um, like burger or pizza, quick fire pizza. Yeah. Um, you do it like you haven't even got <laughs> very good. This <laughs> <laughs> okay. so burger or pizza, pizza, um, chips or. Garlic bread. Garlic bread. Um, yeah. Nike or Adidas? Nike. It's one to me. Um, <laughs> George or Jordan? Tutors. George is my tutor. Freddie or Louis? Can't choose. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you can. No, I can't. Louis, I <laughs> Louis. Louis. <laughs> Louis. Oh, thank you. Um, oh, yeah. It's going to start next to him, yeah, Would, would you rather? Mm-hmm. Goal or an assist? Goal. Um, so. An uh, overhead kick with your left foot or a volley with your right foot? I scored a volley with my right foot on Sunday, so I'll go overhead kick with your left foot. Who on Skinny? Yeah, that'll do. Got it on VO as well, but I haven't been sent it yet. Skinny, do you want to spin it for Freddie? Go on. Go on then. Spin it, spin it. Spin it. Good, that. Hello. Yeah. Quick, quick, quick. I bet you read the one. I think it just spins and spins and spins. Oh, oh, like oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, it's moving. It's, moving on. it's missing a thing, oh, that's no, why. It's missing one. Ask others. Oh, no. Let's ask host question, yeah. Ask, Go on then. Ask host a question. 
That's been one. Mm. That's good. Mm. That's good. 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 Obviously, like Josh Comb has come through and, and done really well there, and you, you always think you're like, with him coming through late as, as a young guy, I know he's like the same age as you are. Um, then you look at clean sheets that we've had this year with Lou, he's, he's med, six, med six, and that's quite a lot across yeah. the season. You look at people like yourself who's come in uh, in middle of a back three and dominated, and we've just said we've only conceded 12 all season, kept your head matured. Uh, and then you look at obviously what Lou's done this year. and I think if I think if you actually get over thirty goals, I don't think anyone's scored that amount in, in our league ever before. Um, so it, it'd be a tough one. So I don't want to sit on fence, but if I had to pick someone, and I think what everyone looks at stats and everything, I'd probably say Louis. the uh, yeah, probably go with Louis. And, um, I shouldn't be saying this to him, but at his age, I've never seen anyone as good back to play for his age. So when the centre half's up against him and it's tough and how he gets hold of the ball and his first touch is great and how he lays it off then spins to get on the box and brings other people into play and what about his third man runs we're playing a we're playing a ten dog um, he's unbelievable at it and then to top that off he's going to get he's going to get 27 goals so far this season with six games left so yeah I'd probably give you a little uh, yeah. you dropped me a little tenner for that but <laughs> but yeah you'd be up there pal you've done really well and one to watch so everyone who's he is watching and in on Spotify and, <laughs> and YouTube Watch and watching on YouTuber. YouTube is uh, he's probably got a good place because um, he's got that mentality too when he actually loves it he'd play every day at week and twice on a Sunday if he, if he could um, so yeah he'll go far so he's all right he's not bad he's sweet last one for Louis then go on Fraser it's on us you will go mad sell is one of them things missing. Uh, oh. oh, he's done it again. Can't ask me another Spin one. Spin it again, come on, spin it again. Oh, cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll cut it. Cut, cut that Phoenix can cut that one. Dude, it's always land on that one. It won't always land on that one, it's not how it works. Oh, oh, oh good one. Un, un unpopular, unpopular food choice, food choice. Oh, choice. Louis 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 this is amazing Ooh. for this man because all he does is eat and play football how many calories a day he waits out of a day calories yeah. like 3000 something and he hits it nah like, depends on the day because like day one playing a match I'll eat a lot because I, will, I get really hungry after a match because I run a lot and yeah. then should I yeah. so. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a whole routine <laughs> <laughs> um, it's unpopular I'm not sure oh Hmm. Mm. I quite like. I don't know if anything's unpopular. I tried ages ago. I tried a peanut butter and like gherkin sandwich. It was all right. To peanut be fair. butter and gherkin. But it, it wasn't like and amazing. It was all right. No, I don't eat it anymore. But I tried it once. It was nice. It was all right. Yeah, it was, it was, it was nice. All right. Yeah. How can that possibly be nice? Because it's it salty and then peanut butter is salty. Skeen, what do you think of that? Give me the microphone. Pot noodle sandwich, Skeen, yes or no? Yeah, 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 therefore. Never had one. Big yes. Well, right, I'll I'll try it. What about breakfasts that aren't for breakfast? So like a full English at night? Yes or no? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'd eat yeah, full yeah. English. Like cereal, you can use if you're hungry, you go down and get some cereal, don't yeah. you? Spot on. Mm. Cereal I mean. is not for breakfast, it's for ev evening. Crunching up conflicts in the evening is the best I think that's the best meal I ever have. In well, my so life, cereal's not for the morning, do you? Never. There's too sugary for the morning, and no. but it's like so. You Conflicts. have your dinner, you have your dinner, and then like 30 minutes later, get a bit peckish while watching TV. Get yeah, some no. get some crunchy nut cornflakes. Sit yeah, in front of the cereal now on podcast. So I think we'll round it up here. <laughs> 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 so, but yeah, cheers for coming on, gents. Really appreciate it. Obviously, you've took your time out of your day to to come on and, and get a podcast done. Uh, credit to yourselves and credit to your families three brilliant and decent lads that are that you that you've become and are becoming um looking forward to your next journeys in yeah. education and going outside of college your, your footballing career so really looking forward to all three in you and where you're going to end up because is we've got some uh, good potential players in here uh, in different positions so yeah cheers for listening thank you, um, thank you.
Uh, please like, subscribe. We're on Spotify. We're on Apple Podcast. And if you want to watch us, we're on YouTube as well. And Amazon. Uh, Amazon. Amazon. Yeah, Amazon. 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 Well, so plug there. So please get following us. Uh, and yeah, thank you. Cheers for coming. Thank you much, sir. All the best to you.